hello guys welcome to my youtube channel it guy ak so in today's video i will show you how to install apache web server in debian 10 code name buster with virtual web host configuration so what actually virtual web hosting mean actually apache application support multiple website configuration in a single machine so you don't need to install multiple web server for each single website you can do that with a single server and configure apache with virtual web host configuration for multiple websites i will perform and explain all the steps and commands we use in this video so you can understand what's going on so let's start there are some prerequisite required in order to perform this task mentioned below you may need an internet connection in order to download and install some packages you should have sudo or root privileges to accomplish this task and if you are using virtual machine to perform this task then ensure that you have set up right network configuration i recommend you to use nat configuration with port forwarding in order to add a regular user to sudoers file just login as root and you have to run add group command with name of the regular username with sudo group this will add user to sudo group which is defined in etc sudoers file here you can see the root user and sudo group have all the permissions or you can access the sudoers file with the vi sudo command and specify the username with the permissions to the user you grant and then save the file so in these two ways you can grant appropriate permissions to any regular user so if you want to configure nat for your virtual machine so just go to the virtual box manager home page and select your virtual machine in our case this is debian and select setting option then go to network option and in adapter attach to nat select attach to nat and in advance go to port forwarding and here you have to specify the rules so this is the rule for apache web server and uh, this is a name this is the protocol we use tcp host ip is blank because we will access the guest virtual machine services on the host ip of loopback ip address so host ip should be blank and the host port is 8080 you can define any port number you want make sure that the port is available on the host machine and uh, this is the guest port in which our apache web server run and for the same i have defined the ssh for remote login to my from my host machine so this is the rules that you can define and uh, this way you can access the services of your virtual machine to your host machine so now we are ready to install apache web server in debian 10 machine i have write down all the commands in a file for this tutorial purpose so we don't waste time to type all the commands and can ignore typing errors currently i am logging as user ak who have sudo access and as you can see i am using debian 10 operating system so these are the commands i have written down so to install apache first of all we have to check system update so run this command sudo apt update 
and as you can see that all the packages are up to date so no, now we are ready to run second command so this is the main command to install apache in debian based system it is called package apache 2 so run this command allow yes so as you can see that our apache web server package has been installed now start the apache service now enable the apache service to auto start at the time of system boot up process now check the status of apache service if it is running or not now we have to adjust firewall rules to allow our apache application to communicate outside the server for this i am using ufw firewall application if you are using firewall d application then just disable that because firewall d have some incompatibility with apache in debian 10 you can read about the bug in official bug report page so here is the command to stop firewall d services if you are running first run sudo systemctl stop firewall d to stop firewall as you can see i don't have installed firewall d in system then run sudo systemctl disable firewall d to disable at boot time then run sudo systemctl status firewall d to check if it is stopped or not now run sudo apt install ufw to install ufw firewall once the ufw firewall application installed just run sudo ufw enable command to enable the firewall it wants me for my ssh connection i am pressing yes to proceed so now firewall services are active and running now you have to allow apache to communicate outside the world run command sudo ufw allow dub 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 this will add the apache service in firewall rules to allow it to communicate outside world now you can check the status of your ufw firewall run command sudo ufw status as you can see that the apache services are allowed to communicate outside now we have to check the status of our apache web server run command systemctl status apache 2 as you can see it is saying running and active now check the status of default apache configuration file for any syntax error run command sudo apache2ctl config test as you can see syntax is ok it's mean our apache configuration is okay and apache server is ready to serve now your apache web server is ready to serve its services to check that from your terminal locally you have to install curl utility in terminal type sudo apt install curl and hit enter
once installed just check the ip address of your local machine with the command hostname space hyphen i and hit enter now type curl and ip address and hit enter If you get the HTML code like this, that means Apache web server is working fine. If you are running Apache web server in virtual machine, then first you have to add port forwarding rules as we earlier discussed. Then open browser of your host machine and type localhost colon 8080 which is the port we have defined and then hit enter. You can also use the loopback IP address for the same. Now we will do the main part virtual web hosting. For this first step is to create the document root path. The document root path is the path for our web content which will be served by the Apache web server for our virtual website. For this, we have to create a directory for our virtual website. Run this command sudo mkdir p slash var slash www slash the directory name for your website. You are free to give any name. I am giving the directory name itguyak. Here hyphen p option is for creating the directory parently. After creating the directory for our virtual website, we have to set up the permission for that directory. Just run these two commands. The first command will change the ownership to the user to whom we transfer the ownership of that directory. Here we are using variable name user which will transfer the ownership to the current login user. Run the second command which will set up the permissions for that directory. Here iPhone R option is to use changing the permissions recursively. Now we have to create the index file inside that directory which we have created for our virtual web hosting website. This index.html file have the web content which the Apache web server serve to its clients. Use vim command to create the index.html file and put the simple html code inside the index.html file. Then save it and exit. Now we have to create the configuration file for our virtual web hosting site. Configuration file can be found under at c slash apache2 slash site available directory. This configuration file is used by our apache web server to serve the website without any issue. We have to set certain parameters in this file. For example, we can specify logs directories path, web admin mail address, server name, document root file path etc. To create configuration file for our virtual web hosting site, first of all copy the default configuration file to create new one. You can give any name to the configuration file but for our convenience we will give same name as we gave to the directory for virtual web hosting site. Then edit the newly created configuration file with vim editor. Delete the content of file by pressing the D alphabet key. 
put the configuration parameter shown in the screen. The first line of the configuration file defines the virtual host web server's default port number. Second line defines the server's admin's email ID. Third line defines the name of the website. The fourth line defines LES for your site. Fifth line defines the document root path where the Apache will look for the HTML file to serve the content. Sixth and seventh line defines the error logs and custom logs directories. Save this and exit. Now you have to disable the default configuration file and enable our virtual web host configuration file. This command to disable the default configuration file. This command to enable the newly created configuration file. Now we have to test the configuration run sudo apache to ctl config test command if you got syntax ok then configuration is ok after that restart the apache services and check the status if it is active running or not. If everything is ok then at last you have to edit the slash at c slash hosts file and add the name of your website in this file. You can map the website name with the IP address of your machine or with the loopback address if you want to access it through local machine. Now it's time to test our website. If you want to test it from terminal then use curl command. So type curl and your website name. Here I'm typing it guy ak and then hit enter. So as you can see that I am able to fetch the web content of my website. The same you can test with the browser. Here I am using my host machine's web browser. In the address bar, type itguy ak colon 8080 and hit enter. You can see that we have get the same content which we earlier get via curl command. If you want to configure multiple website, Repeat the process from creating directory for virtual host website. Thank you for watching.